Hi friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So in this tutorial, we'll see how we can create the materialized view on a specific table. Here I have a table called uh, EMP underscore EG. I'll create a materialized view on this table. So to create that, just say create materialized view and then give a name for that uh, materialized view I'll give it as EMP11 then say refresh like how you want it to refresh you want to refresh on the as we saw in the previous tutorial regarding the types of refresh like complete fast force so just say refresh and give what kind what type of refresh you want I'll say I want it to be a complete refresh on commit so even we saw this commit and uh, on demand and all so even you can make it as demand also so on demand means you need to you know explicitly use some um, package called dbms underscore snapshot snapshot short dot refresh underscore mv view or else uh, you can um, just say commit so that whenever you give commit automatically the refresh will happen okay so i'm saying refresh complete on commit then say enable query rewrite why we give this line is because uh, it helps us to reuse the uh, mv view path rather than using the base table so you can uh, you know use this complete thing you can uh, use the explain plan and see why uh, exactly we use this when we when we say enable query rewrite whenever it is fetching the data it will use the mv view path that is the material materialized view path rather than using the base table itself okay so that's why we say enable query rewrite then after that just say uh, now you need to mention the uh, query whatever you want i'm going to say select department number comma sum of sal from give the table name from there you want the you know output then say group by department number okay so this is the uh, way you need to say uh, create the materialized view just copy this and paste it here so you can see the materialized view got created now when you select star from the view give the materialized view name that is emp11 you can see the result only this particular the query result is only displayed so if in case you insert some uh, as i said as we have given as um, refresh complete on commit whenever you update the base table and you give commit at that time automatically this materialized view will get updated for example when i say insert into let me update uh, some values into the base table so our base table name is emp underscore eg and i'm going to say values and let me give some value like uh, okay then uh, let me give some name um, stalin then give it as something like computer or something okay then the mgr that's eight some number then the higher date let me give it as some okay mm, then the salary for salary i'll just mention it as um, 10000 and i'll say the commission to be zero and I'll give the department as uh, something like 50 okay let it be a separate value so we can see uh, exactly how it is getting updated so you can see one row got inserted hmm? now when I select you can see nothing no changes happen it is uh, same as before now when I say commit and uh, again when I give you you can see that the metalized view got uh, updated automatically because when we say we have given it as refresh complete on commit so that's why whenever we give commit after updating our base table automatically the metalized view will get updated okay 
so this is what is about uh, metlas view you can even try uh, using this refresh complete on demand also and you can say refresh um, fast force all these things on uh, commit different combination can be given so uh, in the next tutorial we'll see what is the difference between uh, view and metalized view um, if there are any queries then please do mail me and uh, thank you very much for watching